Now that right there. Mm. All right, to get started, we've got the Lone Star Pellet Grill warming up, okay? So we've done this in the past and had a couple questions, just wanna clarify. These are wood chips bought directly from Chris at Lone Star Grills. He has these custom made for his pellet smoker only. I do not put these in any other pellet smoker I have. Traeger, Pit Boss, Weber, you name it, okay? Uh, I'm rocking the Smoke and Macon pellets and basically we're just gonna do a blend. Last time I said it was a ratio that was wrong three to one ratio or something like that i don't know so i typically do three scoops to one scoop however you guys want to word it that's up to you give that a nice toss so this is hickory uh absolute love hickory born in the south i know uh, he also has oak as well so let me get this mixed up Smoker is coming up to temp. Here we go. So in a lot of our links, we have something listed to Snake River Farms. Before you say Snake River Farms is too expensive, I'm just here to tell you the last time we bought something was probably two to three years ago. In my mind, along probably with you agreeing your in my wife's mind, it was kind of like the same theory. Like, ah, uh, it's just like, that, that's that gets kind of expensive. Lately, it seems like they've been having some fantastic deal. So we jumped all over it. So we bought it ourselves. We bought like a box of... Um, it was like pick six items for 33% off. Plus it allowed you to order items that you typically would not order. I thought it was a good deal. So we have a link list below if you guys are interested. I'm not saying it's for everyone. Uh, this is actually choice, uh, but this is a whole rump commonly known as picanha. So since they had a whole one and it had all that fat on there, I thought it was a good idea. Plus we got some like other things that we could show in uh, later videos. In my research, it was either on Google's page and it might not have been, so don't quote me on this. Somebody said that when you cook it Brazilian style on a skewer, it's more for show than it is for flavor. And I thought, amen. I'm glad somebody else said it besides me, right? Because I feel the same way. I feel like it is a fantastic cut of meat. And when done properly, we might be able to utilize it a little bit more than just a skewer method. So we got two ideas here pat this as dry as possible i am leaving all that fat on there i'm not touching it. i came up with an idea i don't know if anybody's done it. if they have cheers to you because it's got to be a great idea if you came up with it we're going to smoke it whole okay typically you'd want to cut this in steaks but we're not going to do that i'm going to cut the silver skin off trim this up just really quick let's see that looks like a bad piece right there We're going to season the undercarriage pretty heavily and we are going to keep this top 100% untouched. We're going to smoke it to like a medium rare, maybe like 123 to 125, somewhere through there. And then I thought about getting a cast iron skillet out and searing the fat after it's smoked and crisping up the skin. And then we're going to cut it um, with the grain. So that way, when you serve it, you can cut it against the grain, okay? The reason why I'm not seasoning the top because we are gonna be searing this at a high heat and I don't want the seasonings to burn. I just want that fat to render. Just a little bit of binder on top. So we're just gonna use a little duck fat. You can use any type of oil you want to. Get around the sides. Shake that. Salt, pepper, garlic, and butter. This is gonna carry most of the flavor. So be generous with your seasoning at this point. side action we have done picanha on the weber kettle we cut it in steaks and then grilled it and basically what i like to do is just try different things try different methods so that's how i came up with this idea we had the opportunity to buy it and i said if we buy it i just want to try something different and so this is how we came up with the idea so thermometer about halfway through you guys can see right here it goes about halfway through so you got a large one and a small one i typically like to tend with the small ones i'm a lot more comfortable with them I'm more used to them <laughs> just like that okay smokers up and rocking that side up unseasoned until about 200 and uh oh 200 might be a little hot let's try uh 125 degrees oh all righty 
Hit about that 125 mark. We're simply just gonna take it off, try to keep that fat cap undisturbed. Put on our sheet tray, and we're gonna let it cool down just a little bit. So this is the deal. It's not necessarily like a reverse sear. I just wanna crisp up that fat. So I'm actually gonna let this cool down a little bit, maybe 15, 20 minutes, because if I go in and start searing it right now, all that heat's built up. So I'm gonna let it calm down. Once the temperature starts dropping, I know that the the whole picanha has started to cool down, okay? And from there, we'll be able to sear it without the threat of overcooking it. Absolutely beautiful color, cannot wait to do this. All righty, we have let it rest. It stabilized at about 130 degrees, right where we want it. So this is one of those things where since you've never done something before, and this is what I love about cooking, we always try to experiment. Should we score the fat cap? <laughs> I'm thinking about it. I really am. So I'm going to try it. Is it going to make a difference? Probably not. But I am going to score the fat cap. I really want that fat to render. Cast iron pan's heating up nicely. That knife just goes through it like butter. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, just something different. Just something different. I have some of that liquid gold already. This is smoked beef tallow. Give us a head start. So far by our thermometer, we have not even raised the degrees. It's still dropping, which is why I wanted to do this. If you let your beef cool and you notice your beef starts dropping, you're able to sear it a little bit longer without the threat or a bigger threat of it coming up like too, too done. Okay. I don't really, the words explain it, you know, I'm really. Alrighty, remember our grains are running a long ways. Never forget the salt on the conya, which is exactly why I didn't want to season the top side to begin with, because I don't want all that stuff to come off. So a nice pinch of salt to finish it. Cut it right down here. Oh yeah. Mm. Now that right there. Mm. Let me try. I'm just looking at all that juice coming out. That little kiss of salt. Look at it's like a dang waterfall. <sighs> well, one thing about it, it's juicy. And you get all that fat. And we'll take it off. Mmm. 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 Probably a hair done for me. I'd have backed it off about five degrees, but you live and learn. Next time I'll pull it at 120 instead of 125. But I know for a fact, this is phenomenal. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's tender. That's good. That's good cut of meat. It is super, super good. That's good. Mmm. That's super good. Mmm. <laughs> Here, give me, I want to try like some of the fat, like on top. Way better than tricep. Mm-hmm. And to be honest with you, it's just something different. Would mm. I really have just something like a grilled steak? Yeah. You get a ton of smoke flavor, crisping up that fat, really helps to go a long ways. It's not necessarily a reverse sear, as much as it is just trying to uh, seal that fat. But that right there, mm. Golly. hang on, hang on, hang on, just a little bit. I don't know what it is about beef and salt and fat and smoke. 
Mm. Almost like the way the creator intended it. Mm. Golly. Mm. That's amazing. That's like a whim. <laughs> that is a win. Add to cart. Add to cart. Let's <laughs> <laughs> buy another one. <laughs> it's choice. I didn't go the expensive route. Mm. I don't. Everything that we bought is not like the premium, the best, and all that stuff. This is dang good. Matter of fact, it was right on par with some of the stuff we can buy in Knoxville. Um, just happened to be from a different company. So there we go. Mm. I'm going to take the rest over that smoked beef tallow, add some garlic, add some onion, saute some green beans. We're going to have a healthy dinner. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pound the notification button. Share with your friends. Peace. Dang, honey. That is. Winner, winner. Amazing. Smoked the Kanye dinner. Yeah. I agree.